Today we are checking out what's new on the brand new DJI Avada 2 FPV drone. Let's get into it. So the original DJI Avata was a really popular drone. It was great fun, it was fast, it was small, and you could actually fly this inside and outside due to these three inch propellers. Now the DJI Avata 2 follows on from that. Now we have more spec, more features, and some improvements in the right areas. And I really enjoyed flying the DJI Avata because these drones compared to the cinematic drones, they bring you the fun factor. The immersive feel you have when you actually have the goggles on, you get a 155 degrees field of view, which is simply unmatched when you're actually looking at the controller on a cinematic drone. It's a completely new flying experience, and it gives you that feeling of flying yourself in the sky. This field of view is fantastic. But a lot of people actually get put off from flying FPV drones because they feel that the whole learning curve is really difficult. And it is actually starting to learn FPV and be able to fly that you see on Instagram or YouTube. That takes a lot of practice and skill. But what's great to see on the DJI Avata 2 is that this drone is probably the best beginner FPV drone you could pick up because they make this drone now really easy to fly. Now the drone has had a redesign. Now critically, the actual propellers are still fully protected. They're still three inch, and this is actually lighter. This is 377 grams, whereas the DJI Avata was 410, so slightly lighter. Now with a drone like this, you don't want it too light because then it's gonna affect that performance flying outside. But then again, you don't want it too heavy because then it's more of a hassle to take this with you. So at the moment, I think this is now the perfect balance between weight and portability. So the DJI Motion Controller 3, this is also new. It's now smaller than it was before. It's also got a bit of a better grip. Now what this controller does, this allows you to fully control this drone using your hand movements. So it's got a trigger on the back here. So if you pull that trigger backwards, the drone is gonna go forwards. If you push up, the drone's gonna go backwards. And as you actually move your hand, the drone will respond to that. So if you pull back, pull the trigger back, the drone will actually fly up in the air and it makes it so easy for anybody to fly this. So on the screen, through the goggles, you see this little dot. Basically, you just point on the screen exactly where you want the drone to fly, pull back, and it will do. And you can get some really good shots using the DJI Avata 2, but by having that confidence that you're not gonna be crashing it every five seconds either. But then what about if you actually want to do some manual flying? You won't have that confidence yet. You need to be on that simulator for hours and hours, maybe weeks before you even want to unlock manual mode. But now this also has a feature on it called Easy Acro. So what this will do is it will actually mimic some of the acrobatic moves that you see all the time in manual mode. And to activate these, all you've got to do is actually just push up, down, left or right on that joystick and it will automatically do one of these acrobatic moves. So it will slide, it can drift, it can flip. So some examples here now, so you can see here now, and just near these boats. So all I'm gonna do is actually just fly forwards towards these boats. As I get quite close to them, I'm gonna actually select drift. I'm just gonna actually press left and the drone's now gonna go from forwards and it's gonna spin 180 degrees and automatically fly backwards to get this really cool acrobatic shot. I can also do flips as well. So in any location, I can just be flying and I can just push up or push down, left or right, and the drone will do a backflip, a forward flip, or a side flip all automatically. That's also fully recording. So it gives you the actual ability to do some acrobatic moves without having to put it into manual mode, without having to learn how to do these, and also it's much safer for your drone. And to test just how easy this was for beginners, I gave this to my partner to have a go of it. She's got no experience whatsoever flying FPV drones. She doesn't even fly the normal cinematic drones. 
And after about 30 seconds of clear instructions from me on how to use a motion controller, she was flying this with no problem whatsoever, flying this all over the place, doing flips. And in her words, she said that this was really easy to pick up and get started. Now, if she was actually using the controller, it would be a lot more difficult. So I can see for beginners why using the motion controller, it's going to be a better choice. It is much harder to crash this when using the motion controller. And this video is sponsored by Artlist. It's where I get my music and sound effects from. And sound design is such a huge part of video production. So if you enjoy video editing, having decent sound effects and music is going to completely transform the quality of that video. And I really enjoy their platform because they've got thousands of songs to choose from. You can search for any genre and they're all from real artists. So most of the time I'm just searching for cinematic and I'll choose from any of the different cinematic songs there. It normally takes me a minute at max to find the perfect one. And then I can add sound effects, sound effects like wind noises, storms, whooshes, waves, all of these add to the effects. And you can also use stock footage as well. So say you go to a location and you forget to get a particular shot. You can look on their stock footage platform and then choose from one of the thousands of different stock footage. You can download them, use them on your video, all royalty free. I highly recommend it. It saves me so much time. Rather than using really poor music and sound effects, having high quality music from real artists is gonna make such a massive difference. Prices start from just $8.49 a month. You can go and get a free trial to check it out yourself. And if you do sign up, you can get an extra two months free added to your subscription with my link. Highly recommend it. Now let's get back to the video. So this is the third generation of the FPV drones that we've seen from DJI. The DJI FPV, the DJI Avata, and now the DJI Avata 2. And each time we have seen a camera improvement, we've also seen it again on here. So the sensor is now larger. So this is a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor. It's 12 megapixel, f2.8, and gives you that 155 degree field of view. Really immersive, and that's exactly what we need on an FPV drone like this. And what's great news is that we now have a new color profile on here. So the color profile D-Log M, you saw the DJI Air 3 and the Mini 4 Pro and the Mavic series, we now have it on here. So it's gonna give you a flat color profile, but this is a 10-bit color profile. So it's gonna capture 1 billion colors and it allows you afterwards then to be able to color grade this, add LUTs to this drone, gives you a lot more flexibility in your color grading. And this can also shoot up to 4K 60 HDR. You've also got 100 FPS in 2.7K. And all the footage is super smooth. We have Rocksteady 3 Plus, you've got Horizon Steady, and it can also capture the gyro data. So what I do is I personally turn all the stabilization off I'll go and do all the flying and then afterwards I'll just get that video file and I'll drop it into Gyroflow which is a free program and that's going to give you the very best in terms of stabilization. You get this really now silky smooth flying. It looks fantastic. Now on the back of the drone you've also got two sensors. You've got a backwards and also a downward sensor and also the actual slot where you're going to be putting your memory card or your USB port is now on the side. Much better. Originally it was like in the propellers. It'd be an absolute pain really to get to you'd have to like fiddle around to get your memory card out now it's perfectly just on the side here so that's much better and talking of memory cards how many of you have actually got to a location and forgot your memory card i sure have What's great to see is that the DJI Avata 2, this now has 48 gigabytes of internal storage. This is brilliant, it's gonna help you out if you forget your memory cards, just like I do a lot. Now normally on three inch FPV drones, the battery life is about three to six minutes, depending on how you're flying that drone. You also need to understand battery voltages, have special charges so you don't blow your house up. It is quite complicated and a learning curve just to be able to charge an FPV drone. Now DJI do make it really straightforward and the battery life on here has also been improved. So this now has a 23 minute battery life, which for an FPV drone is really good. And it's also just super straightforward. You charge this just like you would any of the other DJI drones. It's also fast charge as well. So you can actually get this drone. And if you get the fly more combo, you're gonna get this really nice case. It's gonna give you two extra batteries. So I highly recommend getting the fly more combo. And what you can do with this is once you actually put all three batteries in here, these batteries are gonna charge in sequence, but it now has fast charge. So you can charge one of these batteries from 10% up to 90% in just 30 minutes. And you can get a full charge on any of these batteries in 45 minutes. This is fantastic to see. And if you own the DJI Avata, or you might have watched some videos on it, it did have a unique sound, didn't it? It sounded like this really high-pitched squeal, like a screaming cat. 
We don't have that on the DJI Varta 2 now, fortunately, so it's not going to draw as much attention to you. Now, it's not going to be super quiet like the mini series, but it is noticeably quieter and not as obvious as the DJI Varta. And they've also just released the Goggles 3 that comes with the DJI Avata 2. A noticeable difference with these and also spec over the Goggles 2 and Goggles Integra. Firstly, the fit. These fit, I would say, the best out of all of the DJI Goggles because you've got this forehead pad on the top of it. You can actually move this now to get the perfect fit onto your head. The battery is still integrated in here, so it's gonna give you a runtime of about three hours, which is decent. You can also adjust the strap by turning this on the back of it to here. And you also notice on the front here, you've got this like rubber material on the side now. So this stops any moisture from you if you're hot outside getting onto the lenses, but it also stops any light leaks getting from the outside into the goggles as well. So you're completely immersed. You can still fully adjust the actual diopter on the bottom here. You can move these. You also get additional diopter adjustments in the pack. So if you need higher strength ones, you can do. It's also got a sensor on it. So it actually can detect whether you're wearing these or not. So when you're not wearing them, it will automatically turn these off. But you also notice on the front of it, you still have the adjustable antennas, which is really good. This is OkiSync 4 now, so the same as the DJI Air 3, the same as the Mini 4 Pro. So you're gonna get the very best in terms of transmission signal from these to your actual drone. So the connection's gonna be better, and I have seen an improvement, especially in like the UK, EU, where the signal wasn't great before, it is much better. But noticeably, the biggest difference with these is now you get two 720p cameras on the front of the goggles. This means all you have to do is actually tap twice on the goggles and you then enter the camera view so you can then see fully your surroundings. You look through the actual screen like you would do normally and you can see out of these cameras. It's really clever. But it also has picture in picture mode. So you can actually see out of here, so see your surroundings, but you can also see the goggles view in the corner as well. So you can see both. And you can also use these goggles when you're flying your DJI Mini 4 Pro or your DJI Air 3. So you can fly those drones, have these goggles on, and then you're gonna get that immersive experience when flying your cinematic drones as well. And this has all the safety features built into this that you would expect from DJI that you don't get on other FPV drones. So for instance, if you're getting a little bit too close to something and you want to stop really fast, all you have to do is press this orange button. It will automatically break and hover in place. And then if you was to lose signal or you just lose track of your drone completely, all you've got to do is hold down the button and it will automatically rise up and then come back to its home location all on its own. Now, although this is a really robust drone, and it is, it's made of really strong plastic. The camera is protected because the propeller guards go slightly in front of that camera. So if there was to be an impact, the propeller guards are gonna take that impact and it is nice and strong. However, because this is an FPV drone, you're gonna be flying this a lot lower to the ground. You're also gonna be flying it probably faster as well. So there is a higher risk of actually causing some damage or having crashes. So I would 100% recommend picking up the DJI Refresh Plan. And I have this on all of my DJI drones because accidents do happen. If it was to have a crash, then I'm fully protected. If the drone was to fly away, I'm also protected as well. And the service is really fast. So for that added peace of mind with these expensive pieces of equipment, I highly recommend it. So spec wise, some decent improvements improvements there on the DJI Varta 2 and the Goggles 3. Now I'll put the prices on the screen about the different DJI Varta 2 combos that you can pick up. Now I have been using the DJI Fly More combo. Always recommend getting that because you're gonna get extra batteries then. Even though this has 23 minutes of flight time, having more batteries is always gonna be a huge advantage. You're gonna get the two extra batteries, you're gonna get the fast charge case, you're gonna get the DJI Goggles 3, the built-in battery, the cameras on the front, you're gonna get the motion controller 3, you also get all the extra propellers, the wires, but you also get this bag as well. And this bag is actually really cool. So it's just like everything fits in here really nice and easy. It's got a decent strap on the side of it and you can put your DJI Varta and all the equipment in here take this with you so you've got everything in this compact bag so out of the different versions that you can get i would recommend getting the fly more combo just giving that extra confidence you're going to have everything with you that you can possibly need so overall the dji var 2 a really good update there i think the camera is much better now 10-bit quality in d-log m so a noticeable difference there 
The battery life is better. It's now a C1 drone. It's got a C1 label on the side of it. It's quieter, not gonna draw as much attention with this. The goggles three are good with the camera on the outside. You can see your environment. They fit much better. The battery life has also been improved as well. So overall, everything is so much better. Now I will be doing follow-up videos on this because I haven't had a chance yet to actually use the DJI FPV remote. I personally fly FPV, I've been flying the DJI Avata and the DJI FPV for a few years now. I really do enjoy using manual mode. Now if you're using the actual motion controller, you can't use manual mode. It's normal and sports mode. This is where it's more geared to that more relaxed flying or suitable for beginners. So I will be doing follow-up videos when I do have that FPV controller to show you a more in-depth look at this as well. But if you're a beginner and you're wanting to get into FPV, want this immersive experience, maybe want the goggles to be able to be used with your cinematic drones as well. This is now, I think, the perfect beginner drone for getting into FPV. Now, if you want to go check this drone out, I'm going to link it at the top of the description. These can go on back order pretty fast, so if you do want this where it's in stock currently, I would say get on this straight away. And subscribe if you're new around here, because I'm going to have more follow-up videos on the DJI at Barter 2 and some other products as well. So hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button it really just help me out get this video to more places let me know what you think about the DJI Vata 2 I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one bye bye